In 2020, we launched a campaign called God is on the Move. And wow, I mean, looking back at these last few years, God has definitely been at work. You know, it's interesting, we have a saying around here, teaching truth and transforming lives. It's sort of our, our new tagline, but it just means that we wanna boldly proclaim the life-saving truth of Jesus and allow God to transform your lives through it. Several years ago, we began looking at improving and adding space to our campus, and unfortunately, we were met with many barriers. The electrical grid, 31st Street, and the water line. They were all issues, and unfortunately, each of them had a price tag. Our electrical grid, if you remember, was maxed out. It was also dated and it was some, used with some power parts, actually. So if we wanted to add new facilities, we needed to upgrade our electrical capacity. We were also told by the city that we needed to refinish 31st Street, as well as the water line underneath it. It had a price tag of about $3 million. Considering that the electrical was 125000 and the street and water line was $3 million, it appeared that any expansion would be impossible. But as believers, we know that there's nothing impossible with God. The past three years, God has been on the move. I mean, He has absolutely been on the move. In 2021, we began renovating the sanctuary. And in doing so, the city mandated that we upgrade the electrical infrastructure. Now, that was a very unwelcome surprise. And also, that $125,000, that should have devastated us financially, but we actually had the money to do it. And then the biggest miracle of all happened. We call it the miracle on 31st Street, right? But the city came to us and they told us that they themselves were gonna finish 31st Street for us, that we didn't have to worry about it. In February 2023, they closed the street and began tearing it up. And when it was torn up, we were able to drop a new water line in. It's laying under 31st Street as we speak. So whenever we need it, we can just connect to it in the future. As of October 2023, the street is almost finished. But at least you can drive on it and use new entrances and exits by the church. God has blessed us during these years. It is an amazing thing. Not only has he overcome these huge barriers, but we've also been able to do so many other improvements on campus. If you've been coming for a while, you remember the old parking lot. I mean, there were cracks and potholes. So in July of 2022, we were able to actually completely tear it up and lay down new asphalt. Also, this year, our preschool has received many grants from the state. So this summer, our preschool upgraded their classrooms with new walls, flooring, and smart TVs. They also took out the wood chips on the playground and replaced it with rubber mulch. They added new equipment and all sorts of other things. We were also able to upgrade the restrooms as a result of these gifts by gutting and replacing everything that was inside the old bathrooms. And man, do they look nice now. Our gate used to stay open during the preschool day, but we added an electronic system where parents can use their phone to open the gate, adding a new level of security. All these projects were funded through grants that Kathy somehow found, right? So it's amazing to watch God provide this funding over and over and over again. We were also able to cover the exterior of the sanctuary with something called EFS, which matches the exterior of the offices. Not only does it make the building look brand new, but it actually creates insulation, saving on energy costs. Two bonuses with this project. First, we don't need to paint it for 70 years, and second, we were able to sketch in a cross that adds a whole new element to our exterior face to this community. Think about that. That's a lot of progress in three years. Now, we told you that God was on the move and He's provided funding for all of it. The miracle is that through this last campaign, right, we, that we raised about $400,000, but through God's power, God did close to $4 million worth of work here on this campus, and He's not done yet. We actually have a few more projects coming up, including a new roof, resealing the parking lot, a new lighting package for the sanctuary, and also a new altar. We can't wait to see how God's going to use these facilities in this place to share the gospel with our community, teaching truth and transforming lives.